Monday night. And probably most of you have watched the news tonight what the president is saying about <coughs> the new wave of coronavirus that hit the country. And uh, we do not stand, how will I say, negligent or in a way that we treat it very lightly. But we know that we serve a God that is so great and so powerful. And I want to welcome each and every one, wherever you're tu tuning in from, whether it's from England, Britain, um, North Korea, or wherever you're tuning in, North America, Canada, and uh, Namibia, whether it's in Kenya, whether it's in the rest of Africa, you're so welcome here tonight. I want to tell you Jesus loves you and he cares for you. And I want to tell you that nothing is impossible with God. All things are possible to them that believe. I want to tell you tonight that Jesus is Lord over coronavirus, over every power of darkness, every power of hell. We know tonight that uh, we have to be strong according to the word of God in Joshua chapter 1 verse 6. The Lord commanded Joshua to be strong and be courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land. I swore to your forefathers to give them, be strong and be very courageous. Can I tell you tonight to have faith is to have great courage. It is to be strong. If you don't have faith and believe God, you will not be strong. I don't want to be little. Many people die. Many of our, uh, quite a number of our congregants were infected with COVID-19. We saw what they went through. And at times we had to go and lay hands on them. We prayed for them. We believed God for them. And by the grace of God, they are all with us tonight. <clears throat> Earlier, the first, second week after we were allowed to go back into um, our building to start ministering the word of God. At that time, there were 50 people. We had two services and uh, we know that uh, people, they wore their um, mask as they should but for some people it is um, very complicated because if they have an asthmatic condition it is very hard for them and one of our people had a, a massive asthma attack and it looks like at that moment we're going to lose her but by the grace of god we had to call her back Somebody said, but how do you know? We know what we saw and we know the power that's in the name of Jesus. Now, some of you say, did you pray in the past for people that died and they came back? Yes, I prayed for a couple of people. Some didn't come back. I know about two that came back. I know about a quite a number of people that were the doctors gave up on them three days to live. By the power and the might of God, I do not blow my own horn. I blow up the name of Jesus. I exalt his name because that is what is important. It is because of the power in the word of God. If I didn't believe the word of God is true, beloved, I would never pray for them. Never stood upon the word of God. I was reminded uh, a couple of months ago about a, a, another sister in, I think it was 2010, they had a massive heart attack in our meetings. And it looks like she was losing her life. But we called her back and rebuked death and God came forth in power. She's still alive today and 
You know the amazing thing about when we prayed for this lady was the Lord give her grace, she's still alive today. A week later, somebody with the same name, same surname, but they were not even relation, uh, uh, family. The one didn't know about the other. A week later, somebody with the same name, same surname, died, which basically means, beloved, there was an assignment of death upon this woman's life. And unfortunately, the other woman carried the same name. So to me, it's not coincident that that happened. It's a plan attack of the enemy. Today, when we look at what happened in the world in the beginning, we talk about the beast of the East. They created this bacteria in uh, the lab and, and, and spread it all over the world and China didn't stop it. Now, and how the, the left is using this biological weapon to destabilize the world to bring people under control. Those of us who are from South Africa, uh, there's such an outcry. When our chief justice were praying against the demonic vaccines, not every vaccine is demonic, but they are vaccines that created by um, the great pharmaceutical companies that wants to control people, manipulate people, and they want to make money out of people. That's why the Bible say, be strong and be courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to your forefathers. So to be strong is not a suggestion, it's a command. We are commanded to be strong in the Lord, beloved. It looks difficult, it looks if there is no hope, it looks like people won't be able to celebrate Christmas or celebrate their birthdays <coughs> as we used to. We remember the days and the time when <coughs> there was no restriction, now we're restricted in our movement. You have to be careful what you do, what, where you go. When you meet somebody on the street, people are afraid, especially if it's a stranger. They look suspicious. You can just give a cough. Then they think you've got coronavirus. So I want to tell you, if we want to inherit the promises of the Word of God to step into our divine destiny, it basically means, beloveds, we have to be strong. If we're not strong, we will not be able to stand. In Ephesians step, chapter 6, verse 10, the Bible said, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in, and in the power of His might. Finally, brethren. It looks like Apostle Paul is busy talking to us. He's talking to the church. He's speaking to us right now. He said, be strong in the Lord, in the power of His might. He said, put on the armor of God. And I like <coughs> verse 16, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take up the shield of faith. You know, when the Lord spoke to Abram, he said, he said to Abram, um, Abram, I am your shield and your greatly, great reward. He said, listen, I'm your shield and your great reward. God is our shield and our buckler. Psalm 3 verse 3, and we made a song, although there are many powerful songs about it, where the Bible says in the book of Psalm, 
Um, let me just read it. And uh, But you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. What is glory? Glory is a crown that he placed upon our heads. A crown of victory. A crown of deliverance. And if you read earlier, then the Bible said, verse 2, he said, Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. How many people, um, when they heard the news of cancer, they heard the news of all kinds of sickness or calamity that comes upon them, then people say, no, it is impossible. He waited too long. So when he went to the doctor, the doctors cannot help because he waited too long. Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. Maybe you've been told your situation is so bad, God cannot deliver you anymore. But verse 3 is to me a powerful reminder of the faithfulness of God. He said, but you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. My head is lifted high. There's an anointing of power. There's an anointing for miracles. The Bible said in the book of Isaiah chapter 10, 27, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. When the anointing flow, it flows from the head down according to Psalm 133 verse 1. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Because there, God commands his blessings. He talks about how we pour on the oil upon the head of Aaron the high priest. Priestly office, beloved, his intercessory office, his praying office. And if we're not prayerful, we are weak in our faith. If we don't study the word of God, we don't have the courage to fight. So I pray today, as the Bible said, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. When you're strong, you're not strong in your own strength. No, you're strong in the Lord by the power of his might, not by your own doing, not by your own life, but by the mighty power of God. Verse 4, he said, to the Lord I cry aloud, and he answered me from his holy hill. Let me tell you, when our prayers and our supplication, and what is supplication is prayers that is rendered with loud cries unto the Lord. He said that we should pray with loud prayers and supplica uh, supplication unto the Lord because the enemy wants to steal and destroy what God wants to do in our lives. The enemy, the Bible said, in addition to this, take up the shield of faith. It is your responsibility to take up the shield of faith. To stand up and say, I will believe God. I will trust God no matter what. And I will begin to speak over my life, begin to decree and declare the works of my God. Beloved, God is such a good God. He's a miracle working God. And like I said in the beginning, nothing is impossible with my God. For the word of God is not void of power. All things are possible to them that believe. Only believe. Have faith in God. Never give up your faith in a living God. Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows. There are flaming arrows, darts, that have been fired from witchcraft altars. 
from satanic altars into your into your body but I'm here to tell you today that when you stand upon the word of God believe the word of God that nothing is impossible with God all things are possible to them that believe in Psalm 91 verse 4 he said he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart the faithfulness of God over your life will be your shield will be your rampart the God that I serve is a wonderful God I want to repeat the scripture again Psalm 91 verse 4 he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge but beloved the safest place to be is in the presence of God when you seek him put him first in your life then God will do mighty miracles he will show himself mighty and strong on our behalf be strong in the Lord. It is not the time to get weary. It is not the time to give up. It's not the time to say, I will not go forward anymore. I gave up on life. I gave up on my circumstances. I gave up because the problems that I face is too much. If you abide in me, John chapter 15, 7. And your words abide in me. You shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. When we abide in the word of God, believe the word of God, trust the word of God, stand upon the word of God, then his word will come to pass. You shall not fear the terror of the night nor the arrows that flies by day let me tell you to be strong and be courageous take a man and a woman who knows his god in the book of daniel the bible said those who know their god will be strong and do great exploits be strong and be courageous those who know their God, those who know who be, to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind, you will stand upon the word of God. When you stand upon it, the word of God cannot fail. With the long life will he satisfy you and show you his salvation. The salvation of the Lord will be evident in your life. What a powerful word from the Lord. Be strong, be courageous. Because God called us to inherit the promises of the word of God. There's a divine word for this generation that need to come to pass. This is the move of the Holy Spirit, the wave of the Holy Spirit that need to hit every center every area of society, community. South Africa got 11 different languages, different tribes and tongues. Every tribe, every tongue needs to be invaded by the supernatural power of God. Unless we strong and be courageous, unless we obey what Paul said to the Ephesians, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. So you cannot be strong in your own strength. You have to be strong in the power of his might. You know, when the disciples were persecuted, they were living in fear. They were running away. Because of the miracles that happened in the book of Acts. When Peter came to the gate beautiful, Peter and John, they saw the cripple. They said, look on us. 
And they said to them, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I had, I give unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. I speak to somebody right now on your on your bed. You are unable to move. Your body is so weak. I need to tell you right now, rise up and walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Walk right now. You are a man. Your body is weak. You are unable to stand. But right now, if you believe God, you will walk, rise up and walk. It takes courage, it takes faith. The God of the impossible will do the impossible. What a mighty God I serve. What a great God. What an awesome God. So the apostles, after they commanded Peter and John, the crippled and gate beautiful to walk, he started leaping, praising God. Then the people came to them and said, We forbid you to speak in this name. So they went and report to the congregation and said, This is what happened. They locked themselves in the upper room. In Acts chapter 4, verse 29, 31, he said, Now, Lord, Look on their threats and grant to your servant that with all boldness they may speak your word. Boldness is evident when courage is part of your life. When you're strong in the Lord, you become bold. They ask for boldness. They've been persecuted. They've been thrown in jail. They've been arrested by people but the Lord said be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might they ask for boldness stretch forth your hand then will all boldness that I will speak your word I ask the Lord tonight that great boldness will come upon us they pray for boldness we cannot be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might if we not have boldness. You know, when Moses went and he was on his way to go and meet with God, his time, his season was over. He commanded the next generation. He said to Joshua, be strong and be courageous. I'm not leaving you now. But I want to tell you now, in this generation, we have to be strong and be courageous. We have to be strong and be courageous. And in Acts chapter 4, 30, they pray, stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders through the name of our holy servant Jesus. It's only through the name of Jesus. Only through the power of the name of Jesus. We have to be strong and be courageous in this time of COVID-19. We have to be bold. They ask, Lord, stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. They pray, they pray, Lord, stretch forth your hand. Tonight I pray that the Lord will stretch out his hand all over South Africa, all over Africa the North America, Americas, Canada, Europe. I know in Africa there's some great men that are bold. Men that believe God, they fasted, they live a fasted life. They live a life of prayer. Men of great courage, they saw. I only saw a little bit, 
of the power of God, these men saw incredible miracles. The dead that had been raised in their meetings were so numerous. But I give God the praise and all the glory that God wants to use you. Be strong in the Lord, beloved. Don't give up now. Believe the Lord after they pray. Verse 31 in Acts chapter 4, the place was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word boldly. After they prayed, the place where they meet together, where they met, was shaken by the power of the might of God. I pray tonight, wherever you gather tonight, there will be a mighty shaking of the power of God. Verse 33, with great power and boldness, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Beloveds, when we testify about the resurrection of Jesus, God will confirm His word through signs, wonders and miracles. The sick will be healed. COVID-19 will be delivered. People will be set free. Cancers will go. Colon cancers will go. Stomach cancers will go. In the mighty name of Jesus, liver cancers, kidney cancers, all form of cancers cannot stand where the power of God is manifested. With great power, Great power came as a result of prayer. I pray tonight that by the power of the might of God, that great power will be made manifest in this house and in your life and in the church of the living God. We will pray tonight against, as well against this pan, uh, uh, pandemic where COVID-19 caused havoc in the social life of people, in the economic life of people, in, 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 in churches, in all businesses, all spheres of life has been affected by COVID-19. The beast of the East, the globalists, they are busy with a deno demonic reset so that they will begin to control the hearts and the mind of people. I don't tell you to disobey the government. We have to obey the government. But there's one thing I can tell you. That the word of God is so powerful. COVID-19 is little. Cancer is nothing in the eyes of God. HIV AIDS is nothing God can do it again. He's be, been performing miracles for the last 2,000 years. And even before that, the creation of the world was a miracle. Greater power was established when He formed the worlds by His great power. I want to tell you, Finally, brethren, be strong and be courageous. In Bontierville, one of our members sent a message tonight. They were shooting in Prune Street. The gangsters were at war again in Prune Street. Tonight we will stand up against this blood-sucking demon of gangsterism and violence. I release the power of the blood of Jesus Amen. against the work of darkness in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus name. I pray tonight that you will be protected. Your life will be preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to place your hand on your head and upon your stomach and say, not my head, not my blood, not my head and not my blood. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Nothing lost, everything restored. Whatever the enemy stole through uh, 2020 or 
beyond 2020 or before 2020. May God restore it back to you. Sevenfold return tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I release fire. I release anointing. Amen. I pray tonight let the Western Cape be shaken by the power of the might of God. Every area that is infested with gangsterism, drug abuse, drug houses, human trafficking. Yes, Lord. I release the fire and the judgment of God upon the works of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. The other day, somebody was writing an exam somewhere in Woodstock. And she was nearly kidnapped by human tra traffickers. I release mighty warrior angels over your life. Yes, Lord. Over the people of God. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Whoever touch you for evil will die by correction Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will not become a victim. You will be victorious. Amen. Let the power of the might of God be made manifest. Let the Lord show himself mighty and strong on behalf of his people, his church. In Jesus' name. We will not be ashamed and we will not be afraid. Be strong and be courageous. Hallelujah. Finally, brethren, be strong in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Men like Cedric, Misek, and Abbot Nego. There was a choice on their life. They said, we're willing to die. But they will not bow. Give your life. And allow God to be God of your life. The God of miracles. The God of signs and wonders. And there was a fourth man. In the fiery furnace. I want to tell you. God is with you. He's walking with you. His yeah. power we, is with you. Every arrow that's been fired into your body. By wicked spirits. I command that arrow to return in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing. I speak restoration. I speak the word of the Lord over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you tonight you will live and not die and declare the works of my God in the mighty name of the Lord. Cursed be the work of the devil in the name of Jesus. Be strong, be courageous in the power of his mind. Beloveds, as the Lord was a shield around Abram, Isaac and Jacob, he promised to be a shield around you. Rabasinda la bakurbunda ya satana la manda la bakurbunda we give God the praise and all the glory yes. for His mighty power. We receive a prayer request tonight for somebody by the name of Kutala. I don't know if a man or a woman sounds like a woman's name, but whoever it is extremely ill of COVID-19, as I stretch forth my hand towards you. Yes. In the mighty name of the Lord, I curse sickness and disease. I rebuke the spirit of death and hell over your life. I speak healing. I speak restoration. I speak let the mighty power of God fall upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Curse that be the work of the devil. Cursed be the work of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing. Anyone, any form 
of sickness and disease over your body. Yes, of COVID-19, whether you have sugar diabetes, high blood pressure, and all kinds of sick sickness in your body, I curse that condition. I curse that condition. I pray right now for somebody with asthma that is watching. Asthmatic condition, and your condition is very bad. I curse that condition right now. I command that lungs to be made whole. I command that spirit of asthma out in the name of Jesus. I speak healing and I speak restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Lord. You came to give us life and give it more abundantly. Anybody with an affliction in your body, whether it's cancer, be made whole. Whether it's HIV AIDS, be made whole. Whether it's a heart condition, be made whole. Whatever it is tonight, rheumatoid arthritis, yeah. Whether it's death and stroke. Jesus. Some of these diseases, beloveds, I don't have a word, uh, a word from the Lord, but I pray by faith. Amen. I just mention the names of the diseases in some cases, but when I know it's the Lord, then I will speak to you. Amen. And I will tell you, God is a good God. He's a miraculous God. He's a God of miracles. He loves you. He died for you. He already prayed the price for your sickness and for your diseases. The other day, beloveds, just receive your miracle. Just receive your healing. Just receive it now. Jesus loves you too much to let you die of that disease only believe all things are possible to them that believe nothing is impossible with my god have faith beloved that jesus heal you tonight his miraculous power is flowing into your body it happened the other night uh, i saw this clip from nigeria where the Fulani, Fulani herdsman is going around for the last couple of years. It's a new group that started about three, four, five years ago. I can't remember. Before that, it was Boko Haram that were killing Christians. And the Fulani tribe, the president of Nigeria is from the Fulani, Fulani tribe. And uh, some of the pastors believe that it doesn't act according to protect, I think it's the evil tribe, because he's from that tribe, and he's also a Muslim. Now, we don't hate Muslims, we love them, but we don't love the spirit that they operate under. We pray tonight that God will intervene in Nigeria in a supernatural way in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I pray to, again tonight for the Tigray area in Ethiopia. That is a war zone. You don't hear or see it on the mainstream media, or maybe I don't watch the news so much. But I have my information. And our beloved brothers and sisters are under severe attack, so we pray for them for divine protection upon their life. Lord, let angels manifest amongst them. Let it become visible that the angel of the Lord is with them. Arise, O Lord, let our, your enemies be scattered tonight. Where there's sickness and disease, where there's satanic attacks, let your enemies be scattered. Do not pass us by, I pray for South Africa, the COVID-19. I bind the strong man of COVID-19 over South Africa, over Africa in the name of Jesus. Father, we cut the strong man down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cursed be the work of the devil. 
We rebuke Satan. We rebuke Satan. We curse the work of Satan. <coughs> we speak healing. We speak restoration. Over South Africa, there's so much turmoil, corruption. We pray for the Chief Justice, Mong Huen, Mong Huen. We pray for him tonight. Strengthen him by the power of the might of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for men that are bold and are not afraid. Thank you, Lord, that you place him in that office where he stand to declare your name above every name. Amen. Thank you for the church of the living God that will rise up in power and in might. Bless the church, Lord. Let the church arise. Let the church arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We exalt your holy name. Thank you for all the prayers that's been answered. Yes, Lord. Father, during the festive season, it's a high cry time where robberies are taking place. People's lives are threatened for the sake of money. Everyone that is watching and under the sound of my voice, whoever wants to take your life, take your money without your consent, I pray that the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will intervene. When the Israelites call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord release an angel that killed 185,000 men, slaughter yeah, them. Lord. I pray on your children. They will be protected. Their lives will be protected. The angel will become visible. They will not be touched yeah. by these wicked entities. I pray tonight for Tyler, where he's in the hospital. I pray tonight, Lord, intervene on his behalf. I pray that he will make right with you, that his life will change in the name of Jesus. I speak healing, I speak restoration over his life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen and amen. amen. Beloveds, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, the Lord has been good to us, beloveds, as a ministry. We're 10 years old. We celebrate the goodness of God, the grace of God, the power of God, the miracles of God. For the next 10 years, what we couldn't do in 10 years, we will do it next year in one year. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. It will be like not a, a, a plane. You know, there's uh, rockets that's going to the moon and to... You need extra boosts to go to bust through the atmosphere of the earth. The normal planes, you have supersonic planes, you have supersonic jets and fighter planes. But the rockets that break forth out of the earth atmosphere, going straight to the moon or to other planets in the earth, in the atmosphere I pray today that 2021 you will take off like a rocket Amen. burst through the atmosphere right 
into your divine destiny. I pray tonight, even if you were held back, because the power of retardedness and slowness is broken over your life. Amen. Amen. 2021 will be an extraordinary year. Yeah. Yes, the enemy will try to hold you back, but you know, acceleration. And it's not normal acceleration, it's a rocket acceleration. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God bless you. May the peace of God be with you. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And I bless you tonight in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Amen.